Hello guys, so welcome back to our YouTube channel. It is just Butty once again. <laughs> I want to say thank you to all our 200 amazing subscribers. Yeah, we are down to 200 subscribers and we are here today for an explosive topic. You know, it's Valentine's season and it's around the corner. So today we are going to be talking about love. So with me right here, I have a guest speaker because the things I'm about to talk about today is too spicy, okay? But it's a good child. We are not talking rubbish. But with my guest speaker here, we are going to... You know be digging down those bad bad things that you guys used to think about so our topic today is how to level up in the other room yes yes you heard me how to level up in the other room married women how do you guys level up your sex game that's what i want to know now because i feel like uh most of times you know when marriage after about two three years it feels like the whole love spell kind of like fizzles out okay. so right now i want to know how to revive you know those butterflies in your tummy when you were dating I want to know how to bring that spark back so my guest speaker here is mrs olivia <laughs> okay so i'm going to be asking her a couple of questions i will get to hear her own idea as well as my own idea okay question number one is it true that the spice in the marriage tends to dry up after a couple of years? We've been hearing these complaints. Now I want to target this matter. I want to settle this matter once and for all. Wow. What do you think about this this question? Well, it's not a new thing. I think everybody already knows that. The to that is yes, obviously, because over time, we tend to start seeing ourselves as brothers and sisters instead of husband and wife. Yeah, true. If you have another opinion, you can drop it in the comment section. So, what do you think causes this very, very drastic problem? What, what causes it? Still finish. <laughs> There's nothing you want to tell me. If you still finish, there's nothing else. So, finish. as a finder like you, um, that you are now, yeah. a man can see you finish. Premium. See me. A man that I've been with for years <laughs> can see me finish. Okay. Yeah, you see you finish. <laughs> so, now, okay, the question, the main question is yeah. what do you do? to fight this like if a couple finds themselves in this bad situation how can you get your sex life back you know it's the season of love we want to tell them what to do this valentine yeah so that they will come back and say just what he said it and it works well for me for me i would say i'll start with communication right okay you should be able to communicate with your partner and you know know if your partner is open to certain things for you guys to try out if it's open to certain things like say, you know, uh, is this what is this guy talking about? <laughs> is that what you want to get out? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me let me go back to her. She said communication. Okay, from my own point of view, I feel like what makes a marriage go down the drain is lack of communication. You know, a married man. We have two rules: a married man and a married woman. Mm -hmm. And once they are getting to that two three years in marriage, they become Father and mother. mother Father like responsibility. Huh. Go out, look for money, come back to the house. Yeah. Mother's responsibility. Go out, take care of the children, take care of the family, come back, cook. So at the end of the day, we go out, we come back, we sleep. Get tired. We may not even have that opportunity to talk, honey, how was your day? To so bring in those, you know, things that will keep the marriage sparking. So I feel like the roles that we play as um husband and wife or as man father and mother interferes with our sexual roles as husband and wife what do you think about that well, you said everything so now back to the question we said communication open to certain things certain things like what hey they want to move me in travel <laughs> Yeah, I actually feel like communication is key as a christian as i am communication is the number one thing why because if you're able to communicate with your partner that okay i feel a bit distant from you can we look for ways to get in sync with ourselves i feel like if you do this often practices you would get a little bit closer other than that other than communication change of location actually can help but sometimes we are broke uh, no. Improvise like you to go for to us, you know, <laughs> traveling, exploring. Exploring what, my places. If you've never been to Lagos before, for instance, you can decide to go like on a maybe 
Thank yes, I think vacations back yeah, some that helps. love. I remember going on a vacation and I was feeling all bluey. So if you've not gone on a vacation in a while, please let's say the number two tip now should be going on a vacation. Number one was communication. Number two is going on a vacation. What is number three? You know, I've, I've seen a lot of people say going on dates, but if you ask me, it doesn't work. Oh. It doesn't work. Because people can even quarrel on that day. Thank you. I'm telling you, before you go and come back, there's one war, one more serious fight <laughs> waiting for you. So we are scrapping going on dates now. Yeah, it's yeah. not reviving. It's <laughs> only a temporal solution. We want permanent lasting solution for the, for the married women out there. Justice for us. <laughs> you guys should just travel. Travel. Change location and be open to know what your partner is open to, you know. Open to such as uh, 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 using offset sex toys as you know. Yeah. What if I'm a Christian? I don't understand. <laughs> People in touch will they catch you. No, let's not say that. Uh -huh. I don't say that. We are not doing Christianity because of people in church. Okay. We are doing Christianity because it's a way of life. Yeah. Okay, so let me come in from where she's saying. She said sex toys. What kind of sex toys? Can you educate us? I mean, we have sex toys that are actually just stimulants, you know? Like the vibrators. I mean, they're not like... They're not doing the job of your husband. You're just doing something different. So. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you want to explore that, if, like I said, you will have to discuss with your partner to know if it is something your partner is open to. If it's not, have you used one before? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell them you are trying to tell teach them something new. So you cannot be talking not out of experience. Tell I believe I'm not the no, only woman here. Have you used a vibrator? Do you have a vibrator? <laughs> I will not answer that. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. We are not talking about me here. We are giving help to those that need help. Yeah. So let me come in from where my friend Mrs. Olivia is coming to is talking about, guys. I know the use or the, the, the name sex toy rings a couple of bad bells in your head. It does too in my head, believe me. <laughs> but I'm not justifying it though, but I'm saying from her own point of view, it might be worth trying. There are different kinds of sex toy like we have come to here. We have the penetrative ones which are of no concern to me. And we have the stimulating ones, right? Mm -hmm. Stimulants, um, we mean vibrators, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So possibly if you're looking out to shop for something like that, you go for the stimulants. If you're, vib if you're sorry, I said vibrators. See how they're putting vibrator in my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> if your partner is concerned about like sizes and all that vibrator comes in different sizes so pick the one pick your devil yeah that's the right one to use pick your devil and pick your devil wife <laughs> guys scrap that <laughs> scrap that no we're not going for that we're going for safe means to having fun in that other room. We are going for leveling up your sex life in the other room. Please, if you want to indulge in vibrators, please ask your partner first. It's not a solo decision. Ask your partner if he's okay with that. Now, using sex toys, I strongly advise, if you must use it, go for only strictly vibrators. You must not go for all those other lousy ones. Vibrators are just stimulants, assistant stimulants. Okay, now, if I'm bringing, works. wait now, if I'm bringing vibrators into my sexual life or into my marriage, I will give it to my partner and say, honey, help me use it for me. Does not mean I'll be using it all the time so for what, myself. What, what so. if your partner is not around? For instance. Well, that's your business. My partner is around. <laughs> your partner is not travel. My partner is not travel. Oh, okay, but for us, that they're not always around. I mean, 
girls gotta do what a girls gotta do instead of cheating yes but that's not the point right now the point right now (laughs) is that please if you must use a vibrator if you want to explain a vibrator to your partner please give it to him tell him to help you let him teach you because you may not even know how to use it you people should explore it together comes with a manual just in case you want to know what do you mean by you don't know how to use it everybody that knows how to use it read the manual guys please 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 let's not go very raw inside here we are talking we are deviating from the topic we are not bad children here so the, topic, to you, the topic is leveling up in the other room so i feel like vibrator will play a long role in making you feel more satisfied in your marriage and in your relationship now reasons being the man is wired to just have sex and relax not that he doesn't love you but the way it starts people just start and touching and all of that and he has done it and he has rested do you understand in 90 percent of the cases the woman's needs are not put into consideration but if you're having this sexual stimulant it's possible that the man can use that to play with you before you guys engage in the waiting that they call that thing again in the something and then at the end of the day, you see that a satisfied woman is a happy wife. At that time, if people were quarreling, she will start speaking in tongues. She will start being happy. She will start telling you how much she loves you. And with those conversations, you see that little by little, you are getting back to communication. Yeah. So guys, I strongly advise, if you, need, if you know that your sexual game in your marriages is boring, please, by all means, introduce stimulants i'm not using the bad word again stimulants introduce it enjoy it relax Mm? you don't have to use it when he's not around i think that would be doing something bad if if you're concerned what is that no no, for those that are concerned about your morals i don't agree if you are thinking about your morals if your morals i don't agree please if you disagree with her put it in the comment section what is this now what do you mean I don't understand. What you do don't you have mean? to agree. Come on, I'm saying the truth here. Yeah. I'm I'm speaking for the Christians. If your husband is offshore and you need to help yourself, help yourself. I don't understand. I will help myself. That? I will wait for the man of my dream. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, right. so there's one more thing I forgot to add. In terms of exploring, if you have kids, you can send your kids away, probably to their grannies or Oh. And friends or it's when they are even away during the holidays you can exactly. have the whole house to yourself and spice things up with your husband exactly. bedroom is not the only place that the other activity takes place you can do it in the dining Loudy. you can do it in the kitchen Loudy. you can do it Loudy. <laughs> you walk on me or talk you anywhere you want to do it <laughs> just explore <laughs> Don't be doing Mama Mary one side, one side, every time. Oh my God. Explore. I'm not advising you to watch pornography because that's going to be very biblical. Yeah. But be free. Be crazy to with explore. your partner. Try to explore, Let your partner be your side chick. <laughs> your partner is not boring. See, some women want to be mishandled. Like, my throw hands me, goes, you throw know? me, tear me, throw me. It's yes, not, ah, uh, mommy, sit down one place. Can you open it? Ah, ah, what are you taking permission? <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, so guys, that's enough. That's enough for today. So, guys, that's <laughs> all we have for you on today's episode of this Valentine special. Please make sure you subscribe because we are just going to be continuing to be giving you all the juicy content that we have for you so you can still write on the comment section what you thought about our discussion okay if you are the christianic type that say okay no whichever kind of stimulant is not acceptable it's fine but now just just they tell on my own point of view Mm. it's not body that said it please there are so many people that will not like this thing i've said so please if you don't like it just say i don't like it ignore me Ignore me, don't follow my advice. <laughs> <laughs> so, see you guys next episode. Bye.